It's time for a quick time update of the Douglas County Board of Commissioners meeting. This one is uh, September 1st. With me is Douglas County Manager Larry Werner. Welcome, Larry. Thank you, Lloyd. I'm Lloyd Higuera, and uh, leading off uh, the September 1st meeting, uh, commissioners did adopt a resolution authorizing the Assistant County Manager Chief Financial Officer to arrange the sale of highway revenue bonds for the purpose of street and highway construction in the amount of $13 million. And uh, what projects are, you know, are, is that money, bond money going to be used for? Right. Uh, there are five projects that are, that are anticipated on this. The, uh, the Jacks Valley Road from Alpine View to Genoa Lane. Uh, there will be a reconstruction of the base and then a new asphalt place on there. Centerville Lane from Foothill to SR88, and again it'll be a reconstruction of the base and then uh, minor modifications and new pavement. Waterloo Lane from SR756 to SR88, and there'll be a full reconstruction uh, within the existing right-of-way. Uh, it is really deteriorated and that, that one needs to be dealt with. Dresselville Road from Riverview Drive to SR756, so this will be a reconstruction of the base and portions and then new pavement. And then Johnson Lane from US 395 to East Valley Road. Again, there'll be a reconstruction of the pavement, reconstruction of the base in some areas, and try to improve some of the drainage out in that area. Boy, that, that, that's a lot of work. And I guess we should point out, too, that uh, this is all going to be funded by the new gasoline tax. That's correct. The yes. bond to be paid back with that money. Right, and that, that was the intent of getting the extra five cents for gas tax was to develop the program to do these reconstructions. Uh, otherwise, we were trying to piecemeal it with existing revenues, and that just simply wasn't going to get it done. So, right. So uh, this this will take care of things for quite some time. Yeah, no, that that's a good full plate of road work, that's for sure. And. Uh, you know, sometimes you know, no, people don't like uh, taxes, but uh, when you can see a tax actually, you know, on the ground, so to speak, you know, uh, with road repairs, that right. that really makes it softens the blow. I think. I, hopefully, it does. Yeah, it's you know, you always get concerned that it gets intermingled with other county funds and kind of disappears into the woodwork. But this, these are specifically targeted, and that's what the money the money was for, and it's exactly what it'll be used for. That's so. great. Well, also at that September 1st meeting, commissioners approved a new policies and procedures manual for the uh, Carson Valley Adult Daycare Program. So that must mean the program's getting closer. It is. Uh, the, there's a series of steps, obviously, that we have to go through. And in this one, it's a requirement of being licensed uh, by the state of Nevada for the Adult Daycare Club. Where, uh, and it, what it does is defines all the procedures relating to how we operate that whole program from nutrition to sanitation to activities uh, to make sure that it's appropriate for the customers that come in and take and take advantage of the club. Uh, it's, it's always a good thing to be able to lay out your procedures and policies and know exactly what staff's expected to do and, and how to deal with certain circumstances. So we're on our way. Well, Larry, I want to thank you for the information you shared here on the Quick Time Update. I'm Lloyd Higuera for County Manager Larry Werner for the Quick Time Update.